Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to export your NLU, uh, like your intents, your entity types, and all the things related to, to your natural language understanding, and how to import that uh, by creating a dial, a voice flow, sorry, um, assistant. So the first thing that we have to know is that an, an agent on the Flow CX can be exported. So um, right now uh, you can export the agent in with, I mean, to, to two kind of export. The first one is a blob, which is kind of binary. Uh, so you cannot open it. You cannot uh, check what is inside of that blob file. And the other one is in JSON format. So in that case, what you are going to have is um, a zip file. And when, when you uncompress that, that zip file, what you are going to see is basically all your agent information uh, extracted. And uh, you can see there like the agent information, like the uh, intents uh, that you have added with the training phrases, the training phrases per locale, same with the entity types. And your flows, your um, pages, like all the metadata for your uh, agent, but extracted in JSON format. So um, we are gonna use that zip file that we are uh, that we are gonna extract from our Dataflow CX agent to import the NLU on our uh, voice flow assistant. Okay, so to extract your your um, agent or to export your agent, you have to go to the to the main Dialogflow CX uh, console page where where you have all your agents listed in your Google Cloud project. So if you go to the to the to the agent that you want to export, you have to click on this button and click export. Okay, here as you saw. Uh, you have the two types that I explained to you, which is the, the raw bytes is the blob format and the other one is the JSON package format that is going to download the zip file. You can um, check or, or, or choose the environment that you want to export. Remember that uh, you can create different environments on your uh, Dialogflow CX agents. So whenever you publish a new version and you create a new environment, let's say production environment, you can uh, uh, promote your code to that environment. You can export specific environment, okay? And then uh, you can uh, export that to a, a Google Cloud storage bucket or, or just download it, okay? If we click to download, we are going to have the C file downloaded here. There you go. We have the exported agent uh, test agent uh, dot zip. And if we close if we close this image and we go to voice flow, voice flow. For those that don't know uh, what it is, um, basically it is um, a no code tool, uh, low code or no code to design conversations. So. Um, it's it's uh, completely free uh, and you can register just by going to voiceflow.com. So whenever or once you have registered and when you have signed up uh, to voiceflow.com, you will see something like this. And to create an assistant, let me move me here. So when you create an assistant, you can choose the um, what is the type that you want to create. What is the assistant that you want to create? Launch and host. That means that we are going to design the assistant and the host is going to be executed. Uh, the host, sorry, means that the, the assistant is going to be executed on voice flow. And the other thing is the design and handoff. That means that we are going to design our assistant in, in, in voice flow and then we are going to execute somewhere else. In this case, this is the option that we want because here, as you can see, we have the Dialogflow 6 and also the Dialogflow ES integration because we are going to design our conversation here, but we are going to uh, execute our assistant on Dialogflow 6. So for, is, for instance, if we click here, my, my Dialogflow 6, 
a C stand. When we click on continue, we can change, uh, we can uh, select the, the modality. In this case, it's gonna be chat, that of flow CX. Uh, here you can see that we have a button uh, to import our Dialogflow 6 NLU model. So we go here and import the, our C file that we have just downloaded. We are going to see that there are seven intents uh, that has been added with four entities. Okay, The language that uh, is our Dialogflow 6 agency is English United States. So then when we create our assistant, let me move me here. What we are gonna see is on the NLU model, the intents that we have on our Dialogflow 6. In this case, that is gonna be high intent, uh, the info intent, the order intent, and the test intent. Uh, if we check the entities, uh, we are gonna see the entity types uh, that we have created on, the, on our Dialogflow CX agents. So in this case, we are gonna have order type, pizza, coke, and Pokemon, okay? For example, with all the synonyms, same as sys date and sys number. Just to confirm that, we can go to our Dialogflow CX agent, go to the Manage uh, tab, and then under our intents, what we are gonna see is all our um, intents that we have here and are the same that we have here on, on VoiceFlow the default negative intent, the default welcome intent, uh, the help intent, high intent, info intent, or the intent. So for instance, if we go to the order intent, uh, what we are gonna see is that we have the same information. I want three cokes, I want two pizzas, so that is what we want. I want uh, a number and then the order type. These are the entity types for our NLU model. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite easy uh, to export and import information from the of Flow CX to Baseflow. And yeah, I hope this is useful uh, for you. And and yeah, um, you can create your assistance on the Flow CX and design an awesome conversations in Baseflow. That, that is really useful. I hope you like it and see you in the next video.